Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a ton for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Guys, I'm hoping this is going to be an outstanding treat. This is Russian River Brewing's Pliny the Link the Younger. I have done Pliny the Elder before. Recently, uh, I don't know if it's this year and the last year, you could only get this beer at a bar or a brew pub or at the brewery. I don't know what the distribution, how many kegs they sent out around the brewery uh, but it was available basically at the brewery uh, and now they've decided to start bottling this so uh, you can get Pliny the Younger and Pliny the Elder uh, and I have reviewed the Elder uh, it's been a while, well, quite a while back and uh, it was sent to me and I may have even done it more than once uh, if somebody have sent it to me more than one time or different people have sent it to me. I did not go back and look when I did it, who sent it, or any of that kind of stuff, guys. Uh, this was sent to me by Robert and Tony. Uh, they sent me a couple beers. I did one yesterday, and we're going to do this one today. Uh, this is a 10.25%, uh, an Imperial IPA, basically a West Coast style, because since they're in Santa Rosa, California, uh, this beer has got awesome reviews, guys. Uh, it is uh, probably a very, very tasty, well done beer, just like the Elder version, Piney the Elder. So, we're going to find out what this beer brings to the table and see if it's impressive enough to blow my hair back or my socks off. Uh, over to Untapped, uh, they have it listed at 2020, which is what this one is. This is a February 2020 uh, edition. Uh, it says... Uh, February the 5th of 2020, 10.25% uh, uh, alcohol, both that information is on the label. Uh, it says here for the commercial description, 2020 annual release and first edition bottle. So this is the first time they bottled this, guys. Uh, so it's probably going to make a lot of people happy that they can get their hands on this. Uh, so, uh, and I'm very... Uh, very pleased that uh, Robert and Tony decided to uh, pick up a couple of Russian River beers and send them to me. Once again, uh, cheers to both of you, Robert and Tony, and uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, very much appreciate it, because I'm sure uh, this was probably not a cheap bottle to buy. Yeah, a little over 500 milliliters, I think, 5.10. Just like yesterday's bottle, they seem to be pretty consistent on using this size bottle, I guess. Uh, but I'm sure they do other packaging, uh, probably some cans and smaller bottles, may even do some bigger bottles, I don't know. So, with that being said, let's find out what this brings to the table. It would have been interesting if I had had an elder and a uh, younger to actually do a vertical, but I don't do very many verticals anymore, especially if they're... 10 percenters. Two 10 percenters is a lot of alcohol and a lot of calories for this guy nowadays. Uh, still trying to lose some weight. Spending three to four hours a day in the gym since I'm retiring now and walking five miles uh, and doing uh, water aerobic. So uh, I'm there about three to four hours a day. Uh, and it's working. I'm down 85 pounds. So got 15 more to go. I want to lose 100 pounds from where I was when I had my heart attack in December a year ago. So, still got a little bit further to go, but uh, once I get there, I'm not going to stop as far as eating right or, or, or still exercising and walking. Uh, so, uh, trying to stay on this side of the grass. That's the whole idea. <laughs> so, let's get on with this beer and see what 
Pliny the Younger. Never had this beer before. Not a whole lot of hiss on that. A little bit of smoke. Hope it's carbonated. Into the glass. We're going to pour it fairly aggressive here, guys, unless it starts producing a monster head. And that's about all we need in there for right now. About a finger and a half of head on that pour. Well, I'm already getting hop aroma from here. Uh, that's pretty good. A uh, little bit of a chill haze here on this. Fairly clear down here on this. Nice amber color. Good looking beer. Very nice. Something flying around in here. Let's get it to the nose and see what we got. Yeah, awesome hop aroma. That is got grapefruit, pineapple. Pine, the aroma, the guys at the Russian River know how to brew a, a nice West Coast style IPA and double IPA. They definitely are using enough hops. Uh, I don't think it doesn't say anything about being double dry hopped or anything, so they must be using a ton of hops in the brewing process. Smells awesome. Tropical fruit notes, maybe a hint of oranges and peaches. Very pleasant smell. Not getting any of that 10.25% alcohol. Doesn't smell boozy at all. So let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Robert and Tony. Thank you very much. Now, I would say the IBUs are a little bit bigger. Let's see if by chance Beer Advocate had the one on yesterday. See if we have anything less in here. No. So I don't know what the IBUs are on this one. Seems a little stronger than 50 to me and I would think it would probably be a little bigger, heavier than that. Very pleasant though. I'm not getting a ton of alcohol or anything on it. Very very well done. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. Damn, that's good. That's real good. That's an outstanding West Coast style beer, guys. Outstanding. Mm. That is freaking delicious. And I don't say that too much anymore about West Coast style beer because my palate's been ruined by the New England style. But this one seems to have a very substantial hop aroma and taste to it. So, very impressive. Very, very impressive. Let's get the back end pour into the glass and we'll go sip on it for a while. Let it come up to room temperature. And we'll come back and give it the final chug and grade thing like we do. So, we want to get everything out of this bottle. Get it into the glass. You guys out there that can get this beer. It's like I tell people it's in uh, areas that can get New England style beers. Uh, consider yourself damn lucky because I can't get them around here. I can't buy them myself here around here. I uh, have to depend on my wonderful subscribers to send me these awesome world class beers. So, that being said, let's go sip on it and we'll come back and finish it up. Alright, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on this for over an hour. Very tasty, awesome West Coast style uh, double IPA. Uh, the guys at Russia River are doing exceptional things and I'm so glad I got my hands on one of these that they just released uh, being done in a bottle where you had to either go to the brewery or, or something like that to get your hands on it because it hadn't been packaged before now. So this is a very, very tasty. Probably one of the, I would say, in the top five West Coast styles for me here in 2020, maybe even the top uh, because I used to think the West Coast style stuff I got from Stone especially their Enjoy by series and all that stuff and a lot of others uh, there were West Coast styles before the New England styles came out were outstanding uh, they were awesome uh, 
and, and a lot of them blew my hair back and my socks off and gave them nines and tens, uh, but not so much anymore. I tried to grade it on what style it is in. It is a double IPA, but it's not a New England style. It's a West Coast style. So I tried to divide that and, and do the proper review. Uh, the, um, to me, I think the New England style is better than this, but this is not a New England style beer. It's a West Coast style. And with the hop aroma, basically I'll have a chain for that style. And for the, uh, the taste that I'm getting, outstanding. Uh, I mean, it is very delicious, and I would buy this beer if I could get it here, even though it's not a New England style. It's a 10.25%, and it has all the hop aroma and taste that I'm looking for. So, uh, very delicious. Final shot. Uh, wow. Absolutely delicious, guys. It's a 10 for me. It's absolutely a 10. Uh, for the style that it is, I loved it. So, uh, 100. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 100. Imagine that. We're in agreement. Uh, it is a very tasty beer, guys. If you can get your hands on it, you need to pick this up if you'd like this style of beer. Over to Untapped, they have it at 4.62, almost the best numbers I've seen from them on that. So, I would consider that 100 from those guys. Uh, so, it's unanimous. Uh, this is an A-plus beer. It is a hundred beer. It is a world-class, outstanding beer. So, uh, if you haven't heard, they are bottling this now. And if you have had this by chance since they first started bottling this not long ago, let me know what you think. Uh, I wish I could get my hands on it here. I would buy some of it. So, if you've had this, the, the Pony the Younger 2020 from Russian River, let me know what you think. Till we meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.